Hi friends. Today I want to talk to you about um, treating and curing diabetic foot wounds. Because I don't know who's all going to watch this, I'm going to give a, 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 a description of what it is, what are the issues involved with this. I've had two diabetic foot wounds in the process of curing my diabetes. And I actually have videos of both of those and I will go through some of the salient points about that. I've been through several different courses of treatment, uh, so I can comment on that. What is a diabetic foot wound? Well, it's some sort of break in the skin. And you may get it from a blister. You, it, it gets, keeps on going and you lose the skin in a part of the part of the of the foot and it's usually associated with diabetes because diabetics have a low blood circulation in the feet and uh, they don't recover from uh, cuts and bruises very well. Okay. The biggest problem, okay, so uh, the biggest problem with uh, di diabetic foot wounds is the risk of infection that can't be treated. For instance, my brother had a, a diabetic foot wound and uh, this is years before I had mine. And um, the issue with him was that the wound exposed the bone. And he got an infection inside the bone. And because there's no circulation inside the bone per se, the doctors were recommended to have it amputated. One of the things that I, I gave, I went out and did some research, and I found out that uh, colloidal silver is good for knocking down infections. And uh, so I bought some, and I gave him a bottle. And I says, "Well, you know, uh, this is what they say," and. Uh, the uh, so and here's and here it says what the dosage is. So I gave it to him, and what he did is he didn't wait a minute. Even he um, opened the bottle and chugged the whole thing down. I thought, oh my god, but it worked, and his wound got better. And he didn't have to have his foot amputated. Years later, when I got my diabetic foot wound from working on a roof, the I didn't realize how bad it was. I just thought, okay, well, I go to we went to a, a outpatient surgery a medical center, and they said, well, okay, here, and he gave us a told us to go not to stay there, but to go down to the hospital. I thought that was sort of odd. When I got there, um, they wouldn't do anything initially to clean it up. You could sort of see it was black and it was smelly a little bit. And uh, Finally, they said, well, we're going to admit you to the hospital. And so I was so surprised at that. And what they 
uh, finally do they put, took me into the hospital and uh, I don't remember how much later then I had the uh, case management nurse come in and uh, she said oh you're gonna cost the hospital a million dollars Oh, wow. And so, you know, I, it, it took, from what, what happened with all that, when I finally did get to see the, um, the pediatrician, um, he said that this is a serious event. And it's a possibility that we'll have to amputate. Okay, and so I won't go through all that was there three days before they would release me. And so I started doing some research and I went to uh, the doctors, okay, the one uh, who was in Huntington Beach. Turned out he was uh, on the team uh, that developed a treatment called a wound vac, a, a wound vacuum. And what they would do is they put on a piece of uh, tape and uh, put a and have a something that sucked on the, air, creating a vacuum between the tape and the skin, with the hope that the uh, they keep it from getting infected. Okay, and, uh, and so what, as I went through, it took about four months to get completely cured of it. And they had the, had the wound vac and they had the visiting nurse come. And what finally worked for me, because I went to the, to the doctor, he says, well, you're getting it, you keep on getting disinfected. And I try to, they, they give you a, a sleeve to put over your foot to prevent water from getting to the wound and getting it infected. And that's what, uh, if it gets infected, it doesn't heal. And you have to stay off of it and all these other things. So... And of course, the fact that you that you don't heal quickly because of the diabetes is another problem. Okay. And finally, what I what I came up with was that the if the real problem is not the wound itself, but the wound gets affected. And because uh, they did a they did a, a cell culture, and found that the it was the same stuff, the same cellular organisms that are in poop. So I said, okay, well. So I finally I figured this all out, and I said, okay, I'm going to. Take a shower is normal. I'm not going to wear the sleeve. It doesn't work for me. And uh, what I did was, is after I finished my shower, I soaked my foot in Epsom salts. And Epsom salts uh, are have are made up of magnesium, and magnesium is good for the skin. So, uh, that's my recommendation for, for you, is to, when you take a bath or a shower, get out, get dried, soak your foot in Epsom salts. And one of the things I had difficulty doing uh, was finding... Um, a good container to do that, and so I'll, I'm putting a link to uh, 
place that you can buy and have shipped to you the, the foot bath. They don't they're not they're not easy to find. Epsom salts are relatively inexpensive. I'm going to also give you a link to one that will ship to you that's more expensive. But you can go to a store and buy Epsom salts. I don't think it makes a difference if it's the lavender flavored or not, but it does smell nice. Um, so what happened was is that the I started doing that and it started closing over. And I didn't, and eventually I got rid of the, uh, the wound vac and just did the Epsom salts. I was reluctant to, to do this all, except that I kept on seeing how expensive it was to get treatment, treatments for uh, uh, diabetic foot wounds. And so I finally decided, okay, I'm going to make it. One of the issues is, is that if you make a suggestion for something and it doesn't work, you could be making people uh, take this up exclusively and will delay your healing. So that's, that's been the bother with me. I don't think that that's true because my suggestion would be, well, uh, the, if you're under a doctor's care, stay under the care. There's nothing uh, what I suggest to do is to uh, soak your foot in Epsom salts after you take a shower, dry it off and put a bandage and you could have an antibiotic in the uh, on the bandage. That's solely consistent with other treatments you've been getting. So I'm I'm feeling more comfortable recommending it. Um, if you read this, if you watch this video before I get everything done, uh, I may not have the links right away because I'm I'm going to finish up in just a minute. Uh, so. And I'll just put it on the web, and I will add the links later. So come back if you don't see them. Okay, that's it. Very simple. It's cheap. It worked for me. I think it will work for you. Okay. Thanks for coming.